Would you rather be forced to lick the nipples of Tommy Lee Jones or stick your tongue in the ear of Amitabh Bakchan? The nipple. Really? Nothing's going to come out of the nipple. That's what you think. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex with Warm. I'm Rick. It's probably really hairy, though, for sure. But and so are so Big B's ears. <laughs> uh, I would take Big B's ears because then it would mean that I'm in the same room with him and we could talk. Today, we got a uh, video. This is a street food video. Uh, and it's Yay. Indian street food curry like you've never seen before. India street food from Ahmedabad. And it's from a channel abroad in Hungary is, is, is this channel's name. Uh, so it's a little vlog they did. Uh, so hot off the griddle, hot off the griddle. I could eat some food. Here we go. Hot curry. This is very unique. And all combined creates top bhaji. Oh, oh. cheese. Good grief! All that cheese. Buongiorno, guys. It's my sinestra. I'm in Ahmedabad. I'm in the middle of the market. Today we're gonna be walking around the. Try some local specialty, and tonight we're going to their famous Manechok street food market. Did you call me a Manechok? <laughs> Cotton candy. Let's have some breakfast. We make jalebi. Hey! Look who's behind him. Is that cheese? Oh, oh jalebi. Yes. I love the shape. I never tried it before. Oh, you're in for a treat. This place is very popular for jalebi and puff dal. This is good. Sugar. Sugar. Okay. Oh, ghee inside and sugar there. Okay. They cook in ghee. How fun. It must be so flavorful. Rich, definitely. He got them all together with a line straight through each of them. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He's probably been doing this for a while. Yeah. That's the secret ingredient. A full of sugar. Oh my god. Showering sugar. Ah. Uh... The kitchen. Let's take a look. Papra. Papra. Hold on. The sound keeps going. Look at the hot griddle full of chicken fries. Oh, look at that. I want to watch the bite into that. Take a look. What's the name? Papra. Papra. Pap. Look at his dog. Oh, wow. Never seen those before. Looks like an Indian churro. <laughs> oh, he cooks it a second time in the oil. To fry them very well. Double fried. Those are large. That's what she said. Look like taquitos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is beautiful. Wow, oh, that's wow. a breakfast and a These half. The most it's probably like 99 cents seen. or something like that. It's so colorful. All vegetarian. This restaurant is very old. It's 120 years old is the first ever Thali restaurant open in Ahmedabad. And Mark Magandhi came here. Okay, I kind of feel overwhelmed. So did so Big B so, and yeah. Shah Rukh Khan. Exactly. <laughs> Introducing them to you. Here we have some potato curry. This is a chickpea curry. This is maybe potato and other veggies. This is maybe sambar. This is called Sev Uzal. Sev are the little crisp that you see on top, made from lentil flour. This is called Patra, which is kind of a vegetable roll with tamarind, so it is a bit sweet. This is very famous. It's called Kaman Dokla. I think it's Dokla. made with chana dal and ground flour. This, of course, the famous puri. Then we have samosa, but the filling is unique to the Gujarat state. And I don't know how to differentiate them. Hush puppies. One is gota, and the other one is uh, potato and let's start with patra. Look, covering it and coriander. Oh, wow. It doesn't really look appetizing, but it's very famous among the locals. Looks appetizing to me. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty dry. It's a bit spicy. 
can taste the touch of sweetness, but honestly, this, this is not my favorite. Well, moving on, hopefully I'm doing it right. Eh? I just cook it up. And, oh, peas inside. Now it's delicious. Peas, tomatoes. Oh, buon appetito. Mm. You can really taste the crunchiness of the sev, coriander. It's pretty spicy. That is pretty spicy. Really interesting. Let's get this curry. Oh, with chickpeas, coriander, lots of spices, thick gravy. Is he Italian? Yeah. You think so? Mm. It's rich in flavor. There is coriander that gives quite a nice refreshing touch. It's nice. Another famous thing. I have to try the common dokla. Dokla. Kama I've made that. It's a bit moist. It's not a cake. Mm, this is like a sponge cake. Mm. It's like a sponge cake. Sa About not too savory. Not too savory. Yeah. One more thing, this beautiful vegetarian samosa. Let's open up. Oh. Ooh, look at the peas. I think curry <laughs> I guess potatoes as well. Okay, let's give it a bite. Probably not curry leaves in there, no. Mm. It is so hearty, even though it's full of veggies, it's fried, doughy. Actually, it's pretty light. It's not too greasy. I like it. As we just witnessed the preparation of Jalebis, babies. Yeah, you hear no crunch, mm. chewy. You need to have those fresh. Fresh. Really not. Uh, when we get them here, you bite into them and they typically are crunchy, crackly, hard versus that. I've made those. They're delicious when you make them. Yeah. Easy make. When you have not, bad. Pie, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, actually. So many different types of dishes, spices, flavors, and you really get to taste them. I don't like how sticky they make your cuisine. fingers, though. You get the Gujarat state on a plate. What an amazing breakfast. What a great tally. All right, let's go for more. Hello. Oh yeah, masala. Si, sí, masala. Samosa. Samosa and kebab. Oh. <coughs> Crispy samosa, just fried, stuffed with maton kima. And they also make samosa kebab. I can see them on the back. Now, I guess he's going to fry them as well. See, that's the mix made with maton, spices, coriander, and flour. And it's portion in them. Small portion? Yeah. This is something that you cannot miss in Ahmedabad. This is super deep fried. Extra deep fried. Oh, wow. They look so crunchy. <laughs> they look they so, so crunchy. crunchy. Love the Italian accent. Thank you so much. Oh, all right. Beautiful. Look at this lovely triangle stuffed with maton kima, a oh. lot of spices. Oh, they look so crispy. Okay, let's give it a bite. <laughs> let's give it a bite. Mm. Look at the feeling. Mm. Oh. That looks good. I would eat that. It's actually pretty light, super crispy. Spicy, you can really taste the chili and the coriander. Oh. I love his accent. I Actually, do too. Really, really good. Bueno. Oh, really, really. So crisp. So, one thing you Italians love the, to do is use their hands. The yes, yes. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. nice. And what they're also famous for, these little kebabs made with the oh. mutton, spices, and they are super extra deep fried. They, they look very crunchy. Mm. Oh, that, oh, that dissolves in your mouth. Like the, the feeling is creamy, kind of. Look at the spices. <laughs> so let me open it. See? The onion, chili, chili. coriander. The onion. I think there is a secret recipe, kind of a 
garam masala, mixed spices. Right. right in the middle of the market, this is something that you cannot miss. It's full of angry locals getting their takeaway ready for dinner. I thought he said angry First locals. I did too. <laughs> Not I love the angry locals. So nice time. Uh, so nice. They kindly offered us the samosa and the kebab. Please, if you're ever in Ahmedabad, just pay a visit to them. Thank you so much. Eh? See you next time. Bye. Andiamo. Let's go for more. Andiamo. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, look. It's full of people selling look clothes. <laughs> oh, look at the cakes. <laughs> Andiamo. It's Andiamo. Hello. Your mother. What do we have here? Chicken masala. Chicken masala. Yeah, yeah. Oh, paya. Goat leg. Goat leg. Oh, okay. goat oh, leg. Oh, yeah. Manchurian. Chicken Manchurian. Here. Green chicken. White chicken. Dry food. All right. That's interesting. Look at the hot grill full of chicken fry. Oh, that's marinated chicken. Marinade. The marination, yes, it makes it fresh. Now it's going to add the gravy. Or the oil, actually. But that Masala smells oil. terrific. It's cooked on coals, not on gas. Oh, yeah, full of coals. Original taste. Yes. Yes. Buenos Aires. Andiamo. What does that mean? Andiamo means let's, let's go. Come on, right on, let's go. Andiamo, let's do it. White chicken. Like or like, or, or right really on. Unique. Wow, thank you so much. Look how beautiful dinner. You know what we're <laughs> This gorgeous I'm gonna need about five times more roti if I have that yeah, meal. Yeah, yeah. Special Gujarati spices. This is very interesting. I honestly never seen it before, but I know that this restaurant is famous for it. I think that it's kind of a curd or something, or yogurt, and fruits, I believe, for what they guys said. Another dish they're known for is the oh, chicken that looks fried amazing. over with the same gravy Ooh. as the chicken tikka. We saw the preparation before. Oily. It's oh. full of red chili and other spices. What I want to start with is this one, chicken tikka masala. Grab a piece of my fresh roti, bit of chicken and gravy. Mm -hmm. oh. Look. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Actually, not too spicy, just a tiny bit. It's pretty elegant. Rich, just a tiny bit. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Really good. The aroma from the chili is what you come to India for. Now I really want to try the white chicken. Let's call it like this. That looks Let's delicious. Put it between my roti, a bit of the put, That's a phrase. Out. Put it between my roti. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> there is coconut in it, super aromatic, flavorful, rich, thick gravy, and a tiny bit sweet. This is really, really good. Let's go for the chicken fry, the last one. Cook on the hot griddle. Ay, ay, ay. Everything and looks so good. Gravy. Look how charming Oh, this maron. <clears throat> All right, let's give it a big bite. It's definitely a bit oily. It's rich, perfectly cooked, charred, wow. smoky, a bit tomato. -y. Boy. It's not spicy at all. Um, <laughs> Mamma mia, no, Madonna me. Is illegal. Is your Italian know, coming so out there, Rick? Right? Yeah. <laughs> then grab some of my fresh roti and a bit of onion. Let's do like this, a bit of more gravy. Oh. Let's give the ultimate big bite. Oh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mamma mia, Maron. 
Andiamo. We can't watch Italians anymore. Rick's no. Italian comes out. That's yeah, right. Just gave us some, I got to um, tell you something about that with dinner course. last night. It's very Fried funny. Masala, right? Okay. When Andrani and I eat our food of masala origin, it's pretty dry. funny. I haven't had prawns in a while, so I'm very excited. And they look incredible. Buon appetito. Prawns? Is that what Buon appetito. They pop in your mouth. And the masala are very well balanced. They don't overpower the flavor. And the coriander on top gives a very nice and fresh kick. It's a very nice and fresh good. kick. It's a very nice and fresh kick. Mm -hmm. eh? Thank you so much for your hospitality. Food was Andiamo. very acha. The best. Very acha. Yeah. Very acha. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Hey guys, thank you for your hospitality. Okay, andiamo. Now we're going to the famous night food market, which is called Manachok. What? Manachok. That's what I heard. I want to watch everything he does just to listen to his beautiful accent. Manachok. And you can see, look. Stop calling me a Manachok. Now, at a certain time, this little square gets packed with food stalls and chairs and tables in the middle. Actually, it's not ready yet. See all the tuk-tuk bringing people, items. Items. <laughs> oh, it's getting busier and busier. Busier and busier. I can't wait what this market is I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell you what, if I have to get into an Italian accent, I'm now watching his videos. Now we're going to try one of the most popular foods in the market. Look at the stall, how busy it is. Andiamo. Andiamo, it's so busy. Can I one pack basi? Pavaggi, oh, delicious. Give me the ravioli, mastaccioli. So he's breaking it. And a lasagna. Put some chopped onions. Manacot. And the pasta. Some spices, a lot of red chilies, more spices, more masala. He had some water. Oy. Coriander, and he mixes everything. Pavaggi is delicious. I made that as well. Then the mixture that he added afterwards, that's made with veggies, potato, coriander, tomatoes, and peas. And mm. all combined creates a special mixture called Puff Bhaji, one of the most iconic street foods in India. Thank you. We just received the pap bhaji. Look at it here. Where's this the bread? Oh, okay. creamy mixture with tomatoes, potatoes, onion, peas, coriander, and this lovely creamy butter. Look. Oh, it's melting. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Completely soaked up in butter and tomato, as well as this lovely, I think it's a chili, red chili, and onion with some tomatoes. So what I'm going to do now is mixing it with the help of my spoon, Pouring some of it on my bun. Oh my That's what you should do with your pop mash. You put it on your bun. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Oh, oh. It's super creamy. It's not spicy at all. Very tomatoey. Let me try the chili. Bit of onion. Oh, I want to eat that. Mm. Bit more salty because of the chili. But it's not too spicy. And a bit sour. Very good, huh? Another iconic dish and stalls of the market is Gotala Dosa. Oh, come here. Dosa. Let's come and check. <clears throat> what are you going to put in it? I assume he's just going to get the masala dosa. <laughs> oh. Slap that brick of butter on there. Look at it dripping off the sides. Ugh. Oh, man. Green peppers, tomatoes, coriander, cheese, cheese, greens. Oh, look at the cheese. Maron. Cheese, a lot of cheese. <laughs> oh, man, I would eat that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Spices, red chili. Oh, more butter! Look at that. Well, we have to run a hundred <laughs> kilometers marathon after this. Yeah, I don't think so. Water. And boom. Oh. oh. Is 
This is sensual. Look at that. How does he not break the dose on the bottom? It is getting thicker and thicker. Jeez. Is he making a pizza? How does he not break the dose on the know. bottom? I have no idea. That's for more than one portion. Okay, for a moment I was worried. <laughs> How does he not break the dose up? Just as a base to make the Oh, interesting. Oh my goodness. After waiting for quite a while, we just received our gotala dosa. You just saw before the preparation. This is the creamy mixture. Very wow. Thick with lots of cheese. With oh, veggies, that looks amazing. And red chutney. Here, classic dosa. What we need to do is just break a piece of dosa and dip it in the gorgeous mix. Let's be generous with it and let's try it out. Mamma mia! Cheesy. What you taste is it cheese, chili. The dosa is really nice. Oh. <laughs> the guys are friends that we just met. They're so cool. They're from Amdebat. People from Amdebat, they're very friendly. Enjoy your meal, guys. This is very good, eh, by the way. There's a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make an Amdabad Italian app, you give a lot of cheese. There's a night market called Manek Choc. You must try almost <laughs> gotala dosa. I want to go to Mara Yeah, okay, we all does anti refreshing since I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lassie? Yes, mango. And the famous jamun shot, plum shot. Oh, shot? See they put some salt around. Oh, it's cold. But it's good. Oh, shot, three, one, go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's actually a bit sweet. It's pretty good. It's very refreshing. You know what I'm feeling? Pain now here. Yeah. <laughs> Around my eyes. <laughs> this is what we needed to end our Amdabad three foot two. Uh, okay, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. Wow. That looked amazing. That All the looked food in there incredible. looked incredible. I would eat every single one of those things uh, a million times. Ugh. Yeah, I'm so hungry. No, that's a lot of fun. I'm so hungry. Oh, man. Abroad and hungry. It should be called Italian and hungry. <laughs> so oh, you, you saying the yeah, story. I was going to tell you. When we eat our respective cuisines, Italian. Yeah, when I eat Italian, or she food? eats, yeah, not so. I mean, I like gefilte fish, and but I don't do what I do with it, with with Jewish foods, and I don't eat a lot of Jewish foods. I, I'll, I'll, gefilte fish is the most Jewish thing I'll eat every once in a while. I'll sometimes make uh, matzo bra. Um, and then on Friday nights, Ashley and Harrell will do a Passover thing where she'll make some dishes. The challah bread is delicious, but mm, yeah. it's the Italian Italian food. When, <laughs> sure enough, if she's made a Bengali dish, we start eating, and within two minutes, you can look at her plate, and it's almost gone. She has just she she can eat the rice and the dal and anything else that we've made, and it's just we laugh at how fast it's gone. So last night. I made us some spaghetti with with some mushrooms and sausage and uh, like I typically do. Big plate of pasta. Her plate looks almost untouched, and she points out to me I didn't even notice it. I'm almost done with my plate. She said, "Look at your plate," and that's when we started dying. And I said, "When we eat the food of our people, one person inhales it, and the other person's going really slow. It's very funny." <laughs> She doesn't like Italian? She loves Italian. It was her suggestion for me to make the spaghetti last night with sausage mm -hmm. and mushroom and garlic and onion. And uh, she loves it. She she just doesn't eat Italian food as fast as I do. Mm -hmm. I I pound anything Italian. I <laughs> I wolf it. I love Italian food. So do I. Yeah. Italian food's delicious. Uh, um uh, But I love Bengali food too. I just don't pound it the way she can. I, I've never seen anybody eat rice in quantities at the speed that my wife can eat rice in the quantities that she eats it. I mean, it is. Whoosh, 
With your hands? Oh, she always eats. I, if she's making her food, she, I, I'm the one who's using a fork <laughs> or a spoon. She's always eating it with her hands. Nice. Anyways, uh, fantastic video. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I would eat everything that he had. Absolutely. Rick is gladly be talking in an Italian accent the rest of the day. Absolute. <laughs> Vimmer <laughs> What is the word? Arrivederci. 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 Arrivederci.